Hey guys, Half Chrome. Today we're talking Mavic Pro 2. We've got a lot of details we want to tell you about. Things like camera, how big is it, uh, speed, flight time, uh, flight modes, price, and... And we're going to quickly mention some of the other drones we've got Intel on, like the Phantom 5. Alright, so probably the first and most important thing uh, people want to know about is the camera. So Chris, tell us some, uh, some details about this camera. So a lot of the intel out there, uh, quite frankly, is coming from this guy, Osita LV. What do we know about Osita? Well, he's in China. He seems to have uh, some kind of testing relationship with them, where sometimes he gets invited to some events, and it looks like he also gets some additional intel from inside DJI. Uh, and he adds his own little spin on things sometimes, some things we disagree with uh, or we're a little skeptical on, some things we agree with, um, and he doesn't nail it every time. Right. He's good, but he's not perfect. Yeah, we saw some, some bit misses on the air here with the way the arms worked and the gimbal details, etc., but he's pretty good. So Yes, he does know what he's talking about, yeah. for the most part. Yeah, and, and just to be honest, that's where pretty much everybody's getting their intel is from this guy, for the most part, and some other things we see, uh, like the uh, Mavic Pro going on sale uh, yesterday at B&H Photo. So little hints like that indicate when it's coming. But, okay, Osita, what does he have to say about the camera? Um, he says it's a one inch sensor, which is crazy big. As you know, the Phantom 4 Pro has a one inch sensor. It uh, is not a small camera. It is not a small gimbal. So uh, what we did is uh, we thought it'd be interesting to scale up uh, this guy, the gimbal on this guy. So both uh, these drones, the Air and the Pro, have a 1 over 2.3 inch sensor. And so what I did is I measured the Air's gimbal, since it is a little bit smaller. Uh, part of that's just because they get the yaw motor up in the body a little bit, uh, which is what you see on the Phantom 4 Pro as well. Um, and I, I measured it and I scaled it up by a factor of 2.3. And what you get is this behemoth. So I just cut it out of a block of wood, I drew a little lens on there, and uh, believe it or not, this is 2.3 times as large as the little gimbal on here. Kind of frightening how big it is. Um, I mean, so, I, I look at that, it, it, it looks to me uh, a lot like the, the camera on the Phantom 4 Pro, yeah? Size-wise, for sure. I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. it doesn't look like a block of wood. <laughs> yeah. but hope it doesn't look like that. Um, but, I mean, just look at this. Uh, I mean... It's kind of hard to imagine exactly how that's going to play out, uh, but you know that not everything scales. Uh, and they could make it smaller. Obviously, they've done wonders in miniaturizing things, right? Yeah, for sure. Everyone was surprised how small this was. Made, this uh, this gimbal was. The air's even smaller with the same sensor size. So who knows what other tricks they have up their sleeve? Sure. Uh, but for sure, it's a challenge. So they may go with a slightly smaller sensor. Uh, there is a standard sensor size, which is 1 over uh, 1.7 inches, I believe, which is kind of halfway Somewhere in between. between. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that instead. All right, so let's talk uh, size. You know, it's, it's obviously not going to be small like the Air here. Um, probably bigger than this one, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we see the camera getting bigger. The drone should get bigger, too, to keep that flight time up, even make it more aggressive. Uh, flyer like the Phantom series. Uh, that's been one knock against the Mavic is some of the pro pilots do prefer the Phantoms. They're just a little bit more maneuverable. Uh, and, and so what we kind of really see is, is something we see from Autel as well, right? They've scrapped uh, their their Phantom-like drone, the X-Star, and they're going with their Evo, which is, is more like a Mavic. Um, so we kind of see people just moving towards these folded drones with a camera forward design instead of the underhung camera. As it's easy, just, easier to bring with you on the go. Yeah, oh yeah, you can fold it up. Um, it's popular. Uh, it, it doesn't fall over when it lands on uneven ground. Uh, so there are a lot of advantages to this kind of design here. So my, my guess is the, the new Mavic Pro 2 is basically a Phantom 4 Pro uh, in terms of capabilities in, in a Mavic, Mavic style body, yeah. right? We've even seen some wackos out there uh, 3D print uh, Mavic style bodies to hold the electronics yeah. and motors and rebuild 
uh, a phantom uh, into that folding design. Which and, is cool if maybe say you crashed yours, right? Yeah. You might as well upgrade. upgrade. So, um, you know, in terms of speed and flight time and range, uh, what are we thinking? So it's, it's obviously going to be faster, right? Yeah, people love talking about this stuff. Uh, personally, it's kind of one of the least interesting topics. <laughs> Everything gets five or ten percent better, right? It's going to be faster. They're going to have it tuned up faster anyway, like they did with this guy, which we measured less powerful, less agile than the Pro. Uh, check out that video. We do. Yeah, we. I mean, we we race these drones, right? And this one is the fastest, but it it accelerates the slowest actually. Yeah. So you know, there there are ways to. Uh, tune your DJI drones, right? There's basically a hack. Uh, if you if you wanted to do that, yeah. you you can. You can read about that online. But yeah, top speed is, is different than maneuverability and acceleration and all that. Yeah, so they're gonna eke it up a little bit uh, just for stats purposes. But in reality, it's gonna be more agile. It's gonna be faster. It's gonna be much more powerful. We believe. Yeah. It's going to be, like you said, a Phantom 4 Pro with folding arms in a lot of ways. Yeah. So in terms of flight time, what, what should we predict? You know, Osita said, uh, Osita LV, 33 minutes. We know the uh, the first prototype of the Mavic 2 uh, got 32 minutes hover. So that's that's not bad uh, considering it's going to be a bigger, heavier drone, right? Bigger motors, too. That, that'll help there. Um, range should be probably similar to, uh, to this one at 7,000 meters. Uh, you know, it'll... It'll be the OccuSync or the LightBridge technology. Yeah. Uh, maybe they bump it up to 8,000 meters or something. But again, you're not flying 7,000, 8,000 meters away. You're looking for stronger signal, which it will be, right? Yeah, if you're flying two miles away, uh, you got better eyes than me. Yeah, for sure. So let's look at the price. So what we did was we plotted the current drone lineup from DJI. Now this lineup is actually scaled down quite a bit from uh, what they had uh, less than a year ago. At one point they had five different Phantom drones yeah. uh, they were selling on their site. So it's actually pared down a bit, some room to beef it up and fill in some of the gaps. Which they're gonna do. And that's why we came up uh, with this second graph, which is where we think pricing is gonna be in a few months. Right, so if you look, you can see that we're, we're gonna say that this uh, Mavic Pro 2 is gonna come in at right, right around $1299, $1300. Um, that seems to be kind of the sweet spot right in the middle for it. Um, you know, it could be a little higher, could be a little lower, but twelve ninety nine seems to be a good entry point. Uh, a little bit more expensive than the original uh, Mavic Pro, but uh, you know, less than a Phantom Four Pro or what the you know new Phantom Five Pro will cost. Yeah, and uh, one thing we didn't mention yet, actually, obstacle avoidance. Um, Osita is now claiming uh, no rear obstacle avoidance. On the Pro 2, uh, we no. personally think that... Yeah, there's no way. I mean, if you get that on the, the new Mavic Air, why would they go backwards and you know, in, in releasing something like that? So it, it'll have front and rear, most likely. Um, and it'll also incorporate, incorporate the A-Pass system, where it'll not just stop when it encounters an obstacle, but actually go around, which is you know pretty cool, for sure. So that's pretty much what we know about the Mavic Pro 2. Other than that's probably going to be its name. That's another thing we know. Um, we got some intel coming on the P5, the Phantom yeah. 5 especially. We'll be talking about that in another video yeah, as so, well. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. We'll tell you about the Phantom 5 Pro, what uh, likely that will be. We also have some intel on the Spark 2, uh, the Inspire 3, and there's even an, another uh, vertical takeoff and landing drone that DJI is working on. So just in summary, uh, we kind of see this as, as a kind of an in-between drone at this point. It's going to get phased out. Uh, we're going to see the over here on this side, hopefully very soon, we're going to see the Mavic Pro 2. And this is going to be kind of the dividing line between the prosumer market and the consumer market. I don't think people are going to be showing up at a uh, to film a, a commercial with one of these. But what DJI, I think, is going to position the Mavic uh, Pro 2 as a professional quality drone. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Make sure you subscribe and check out our other videos and our site. Absolutely. See you next time.